Hello and welcome back to Vembrace. Time to get some friends. Join our group. And uh, I do very much like how you can say like a little bit slow the game starts out because it really focuses on the, the the story and uh, on just like exploring town and it just doesn't really jump into the action like uh, some games. You know, just like, yeah, there's no rush. This looks like the recruitment board. Let's see if any hired hands are available. All right. What do we have here? Chances to join supply runs are drying up now. What with all the new frost fences being erected around the city. Damn! The green flame. I haven't eaten anything in two days. If only there was a way to sabotage those barriers. Oh. So these guys are desperate for some jobs. This is exactly what I need. They may be able to willing to come with me for free on the promise of getting paid on the way back when they die. Not that, well, I'm not trying to get them killed, but you know, we got to probably have gonna have something on the way back. But definitely have nothing to give them now. This is the recruiting wall. Expedition leaders come here to find willing participants for supply runs to the surface. You meet a lot of interesting characters around the recruiting wall. Most of uh, these people have seen some action on the surface. Many of them have encountered ma mad spooks. Alright. What do we have here? You can meet up with your new hires of the Lost Lady before going to the surface. Always helps to put a uh, name to the face. Oh, that's very cool! So you can actually talk to your companions properly. Not just like... Like Darkest Dungeon style that you just, you just have them. Like, okay, like, to be fair, Darkest Dungeon was a game that was focused on this whole uh, combat. Oh, thanks for the tip! <laughs> oh. Anyone else? The chat? It, I do love the foxy lady looks. <laughs> Our caster. Are they some kind of mages? I nearly lost my tail on the last mission, luckily. We all made it back in one piece. Hmm. Since the green flame have uh, tightened their grip on the entire city, your tale might end up uh, being the least of your worries next time. Alright. Oh, survivor. Permission to lead expedition is only granted to the select few. The volunteers in the recruitment wall are willing to risk their lives simply for the opportunity to bring something back. Oh, this is the, exactly the information I, I wanted. So, I have the permission to lead an expedition, and these guys are desperate to come with me. What about you? I can't tell you how many of these guys are gonna end up on a stretcher and back in our hands at the healing hall. Without these volunteers, Dalark would have fallen to ruin long ago. Despite the circumstances, they're able to keep their spirits lifted. Yeah, mad respect. Oh, what we have here? Oh, this is a tutorial, again. Uh, this is the recruitment board. You'll find villain comrades in Dalark who have added their names here. Select comrades to join your expeditions to the surface. There are only four candidates now, but you will unlock more allies as you proceed. New applicants will appear on the recruitment board from time to time. I wonder if the main character Lyric will always be part of the group. Okay. High health and vigor. Great at... Port... Porting? What is porting? <laughs> we got Maya Defensor. We got an Arcaster. High Awareness. Powerful Flourish. So, Awareness is uh, basically trap avoidance. Slight is... Uh, they all have different... Uh, yeah. High Merchantry and Overwatch. Great at haggling. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if you gotta have like a High Merchantry character in the team. All the time. Or you can just... Well, swap it in later. 
Can I just, uh, apparently, well, you can open. Oh, this is higher. Oh, you can actually can't check. At least, I, I don't think you, how you can check. Their specifics. They, they have specific stats. But we can't check it now, apparently. Do I even bore a Kang on board? Do we need a higher Vernus guy? Let's go Tristan, the Dragoon, Maya the Fencer, and Bora Kang the Arcaster. Let's, let's... Oh, do I need this companion? I don't know. Yes. Um. So she's at the inn now. Let's go with Tristram. Yes. And we go with Maya. We're not gonna take the dwarf now. Uh, high, high slight is uh, is apparently like the, uh, good for traps. So I can't kick myself. Let's go back. So I need to go back. Okay, what we have here. So we can open the inventory. Yeah, this is my inventory and apparently we still get the uh, tutorial. But we are basically uh, lost nothing here. We still need to check the tutorial. Uh, anyway. Should I read this whole thing? I'll just do it. This is your... No, no, no. This is too intuitive. No, just... Just... Don't bother with it. Codex... This is the Codex Illuminus. It's separated into two sections. The Codex and the Journal. Lyric inherited the Codex from her father. Unlocks... Unlock its uh, encrypted pages to learn more about the world, its history, and other mysteries. Press left, right to toggle between the codex categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the mission log and uh, and maybe some uh, some cool information. Right? Am I right? Am I right or am I right? So these are the letters. Yeah. So well, that's kind of the main mission. Myths, events, races, places, gods, sundries. But this is the most interesting part. Uh, this is the main mission. We go to Ice Nair. We got the map. Which is not relevant now. But this is the important part. This is the bio. Learn more about your team members' stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics here. Yeah, left and right toggle between. Yeah, important part. Health and Vigor. Combat represents the character's prowess at fighting. So that's just the fighting potential. I'm not exactly sure what, like for example, 4 exactly stands for. But I suppose the higher it is, the better. Uh, slight, or I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Represents the character's ability to scavenge. So more stuff. Uh, the star's icon indicates merchantry and represents the character's ability to nego no negotiate with merchants. The eye icon indicates awareness, represents the individual ability to spot traps. The party's success is determined by the ally with the highest rating. And uh, the hand icon indicates overwatch, represents the character's ability to care for the party while camping. Alright. Oh, that's not, not it. Combat skills can be performed while fighting. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. The flourish skill can only be used once it has been charged with flourish points. Uh, yeah, part of the equipment. Formation button. Yeah, you can dismiss party members with the axe. Right. I'm not sure if they come over here. We can just uh, change it. So, for example, if we see, can see this ability. You can use it from the back four spots. But you can only use it on the first two spots. Same same, same style in dark, as in Darkest Dungeon. You have uh, four, uh, four spots and uh, fighting against four spots. But this also has Strike. She has abilities that can be used in all locations. She has abilities that can be used in all locations as well. So, she should be replaced with Tristan. She should be replaced 
or yeah, like this. He has the highest health. So we know Bora Kang. She has only two combat, two scavenge, four merchantry. Again, we couldn't see these stats. Uh, she has four overwatch and two awareness. And Lyric is complete garbage when it comes to these stats. She has a little bit, like, she has... I don't know if that's average, like, that's below average, because it's, yeah. She sh shares it with Bora Kang. And we got also got Maya, who is respectable. Very respectable fighter. I'm not sure if you need uh, Taunt. Deal one true damage to three long-range targets and attract them to the caster. Just deal, deal damage. They can have more more uh, skills later. Anyway. Can I change who I'm controlling? Anyway, let's just go. So, maybe uh, the next step is to go and have a chat with them in the inn. But apparently that's not the next step. I need to go here. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, I'll just do it. We gotta go to the end eventually. Oh. Oh, it changed now. So we actually see the whole... whole party. So we see... Maybe I should just make an effort to remember the names to make it actually personal. We got Tristan. We got Maya. Lyric. And Bora Kang. Alright, let's go. Halt! You need... The guard scroll of constant before you can use the ascending room. I got it! The guard just gave it to me. Here. Okay. Looks like everything checks out. You can use this statue over there to operate the lift now. Do you have any questions? I do. I do. No, I, I, I'm. It's okay. It's okay. Be careful up there. Oh, so this is probably the head out point. <clears throat> Maybe we wanna... Do we wanna talk to the companions before we head out? Is that my companion? I can't tell! You... <gasps> I can't tell. Are they in my room? No, they're not in my room. <laughs> because... At least... I, there's like one of them who I can tell apart. Alright. Are you Tristan? I'm not going up there with, for you. I'm honor bound to protect the survivors gathered here. Well, I'm, I'm really glad you cleared that up. <clears throat> How about you, uh, Maya? Are you sure we're stuck for the journey? We can't afford any rookie mistakes on this outing! Fuck! Oh, I thought I was ready! But I just realized we got jack shit! <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I know it will be much more difficult to find what we need in the field. I know that! <laughs> the last member of the team oh look at that I, I must assume that these foxy ladies uh, are can tolerate the court cold a lot better than us you know old Maru told me to support you free of charge that makes any sense to you no that makes zero sense no matter You'll have to pay up later, anyhow. Stop running away! Shh, we need to get some supplies. <laughs> okay, maybe we're gonna get some supplies. Where did we get... Okay. We get, we get supplies in the market, right? I don't know what kind of supplies we're gonna need. I don't know. I don't even know what to get! <laughs> Box syrup, curious horse and sleepy, usable by camping. Okay, like, let's give me one of those. I'll take it. What about this? Uh, it lowers vigor but increases health. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like a great deal. Oh, curious befuddled and hypothermia. Yeah, uh, I'm buying one of those I, too. Curious fractures and sprained. Okay, let's buy one of those as well. Just, just buy a, a little bit of... Okay, maybe... I don't know what the hell we're gonna need. What is this? Oh. 
Uh, the basic necessities to maintain a campfire in the freezing waste of the ice near. Oh! Um, wait, what? Do I not? Oh, fuck. What about my inventory? I spent too much money. Usually that's not the, the mistake I make. I just not spend money. Okay. Yeah, let's just buy the coat, I guess. Vigor Max. L. How do we equip it, though? Tau. Maybe we're gonna put it... Give it to Leric? Oh, did it work? I think it did. Oh yeah, it did work. So we know for a fact that... Okay, that can only be worn by one person. Alright, let's go. Can we somehow change this ability? I don't know. But I guess uh, this is not the time to find out. I spent all my money. I, I'm, I'm just... Trying to be prepared for anything, but we have no idea what to prepare for, so <laughs> it's kind of hard. All right, let's go. Or are we actually going? Okay, this is it. Once we head up, there's no going back. Let's go. Let, let's do it. We have a job to do. The ascending room is an ancient device constructed to ferry passengers from. Delark to various locations on the surface of Eisner. Choose your desired location and go. You can retreat back to Delark at any time from the pause menu. You will keep your surviving allies and loot, but lose your expedition progress. Good luck! <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? Where am I heading now? Oh, I can only choose one mission. The Entertainment District. Let's go! The Entertainment District is located in the northern quadrant of Eisner. Unlike most dwarven cities, which are stiflingly rigid and homogeneous, Eisner prospered greatly from its uh, laissez faire policies. Damn, fancy words. An open nature. As the years passed, this burgeoning order served uh, to satisfy all manner of vices for the city's uh, diverse populace. Although it is now in complete ruin, not all in lo not all is lost. The Ghost Bazaar, a vibrant trading hub, is open for business. The spooks here are even willing to deal with the living who bring hell money to the table. Okay, let's go! Alien money. I guess we're gonna fight now. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're ready, but... Oh. Looks like this is the hidden entrance to the city. I didn't expect to find a guy here. I could freeze to death up here. I, I better hustle up. Hustle if I wanna... F what? <clears throat> I better hustle if I wanna find Isabel. You should say we better hustle because now it's a team. Also, terrible decision making. What the hell? Why are you wearing that? Why did you give up those uh, fur clothes you were wearing earlier? You just want to be more stylish, right? <laughs> okay, whatever. Camping is essential to restoring your party's health and vigor. Your party will be able to use supplies and uh, equip relics during uh, this lull in your expedition. Make sure you take the time to benefit from planning accordingly. Don't know how though. Not exactly. I got one meat. I don't have a campfire. I got some clothes, I guess. I bought some things. You need to choose someone to oversee the camp. This person will manage supplies, security and morale while the party is resting. It is usually a good idea to choose someone with high overwatch. Your chosen 
Your chosen Overwatch can amuse the party with song and story to restore vigor. Success is determined by the Overwatch stat. Okay. The Overwatch uh, will guard the camp when your party chooses to rest. Sleep will restore health and success is determined by the Overwatch stat. Yeah, like you're kind of repeating yourself here. Shadowmancers and fencers can use uh, Raid Ravens to scout streets in your current sector, thus revealing what you can expect to encounter there. Alright. Let's go. Chapter 2 The Merchant. How are you? <clears throat> I'm Sarge. Zagar told me you were coming up. The people I pull half frozen from the surface usually avoid coming back up. Uh, she was one of the people, along with two a generic looking guards who found me. Celeste mentioned one of her scavenging parties found me. Thanks for saving my life. I suppose I'm a, a glutton for punishment. You know, the green flame and feral animals aren't all you need to worry about up here. Uh, yeah, kind of. How do I camp? This is the first time I've had to deal with the possibility of camping in such conditions. A good camping spot may be the difference between life and death. Make sure your Overwatch has high stats so you can <laughs> reap the benefits of resting well. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I already know that. It's also an opportunity to get to know your companions. Your lives are in each other's hands after all. That's pretty good. But dangerous. What should I be worried about up here? The spooks are naturally drawn to your presence. So you... You're being hunted the moment you set foot out there. Almost everything has an irrational desire to see you dead. Well, <clears throat> make sure the person leading your team can detect traps. You have plenty to contend uh, with between the natural ob obstacles, traps set by the green flame, wraiths and mad survivors. So she's telling me that the person leading should have high trap detection, but Previously, it was said that maybe uh, the whoever has highest threat protection uh, just gets automatically applied to the leader, maybe. Or at least that's what I got from it. But she's saying uh, something else, so maybe we want the high threat protection person to to be the leader. Uh, and currently, I don't think we have one. A lot of strange things are afoot here. I'm sure you have plenty of tales from the field. You don't want to know half of it. You'll see soon enough. When you encounter a strange event, consider your options carefully before making your next move. What happens next could save or be the death of your party. Alright, I'm good. I've seen my share of danger. I'll be ready for it this time. Take this. We call it the Geistrometer. I'll tell you when the spooks are getting closed by measuring the ghost fog. Wow, really? Very handy. It's an interesting contraption. Check its status on the bottom left corner on the screen. <clears throat> when the ghost fog comes, you'll know the matte shades are nearby. When that happens, make sure you leave the area as quickly as possible. So this game definitely doesn't uh, hesitate to break immersion, just to make it clear what you need to do. Which I don't really mind. They sound like a handful of handful to content with. Just try to come back in one piece, soldier. Arrow will increase as your party explores the field. It will drop again once uh, when you enter a new sector. Use the Geistromator to monitor the ghost fog and stay ahead of uh, the threat pursuing you. Which is over here. Alright. So. Huh. Everybody, stop! Is this the for frost fence? Be careful around that. The green flame have been putting them up around the city to block your, our way. That's the reason I'm here. What's the plan? I thought you knew what your way around. No, we're going through it. 
You can't! You can't be serious! Touching it is instant death! How do you think I got into the city to begin with? Alright everyone, step back. I've only done this once before and I honestly don't know what's going to happen next. Here goes nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. You're certainly eager to put your uh, theory of uh, to the test. I that you can walk through it. Oh, this is handy. So you not only just walk through it, but also get rid of the barrier. It's gone! What kind of magic is this? This vambrace protects me from arconic magic. You could help us. You could use it to help us escape the city. It seems I can destroy these smaller frost fences, but that's not the case for the frost fell surrounding the ice snare. Okay, let's move out. Oh, what we have here? Huh. On the pa page for the codex. Maybe time to take a break before a big adventure. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.